Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Professor Meg. And today we're playing Arun. Arun. We're playing through Arun. We're playing through Arun and specifically the expansion Light and Darkness. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a paid playthrough. Please take that into account. I will have a link to the crowdfunding campaign down below. And this, by the way, is going to be a mix of, of final production from the original base game, as well as some prototype components, some various new monsters and things that we probably at some point will find out. So a mix of prototype and final. And specifically, we are diving into this venture with some pre-made character levels in order to give you a glimpse of the new stuff starting off the bat. Uh, there are going to be a bunch of new things to that end, so let's go ahead and give you a brief overview of what Arun is, and then dive into the gameplay. Uh, this is an app-driven dungeon crawling game. Arun is going to have you playing, uh, have you have an app. The uh, the light of Arun is going to be managing the various uh, dungeon for you, various events, various interactions. That's all going to be app-driven, where you can track, save your characters, save your progress. Even you could, to a certain extent, if you wanted to, be halfway through a dungeon adventure, pack it up, and pick up where you left off. Probably not recommended. It's going to be a hard time getting those friends back to your house if you do that. <laughs> but you can try. Uh, but past that, you're going to be going through an escalated series of adventures. You're going to level up between scenarios. You're going to have your characters as the as the heroes. You're going to have the various characters you start off with. Uh, the base game has four characters, I believe, and then the expansion Light and Darkness introduces the monk and the uh, demon hunter as well. Uh, but you're going to be facing off either solo against the dungeon or solo or co-op against the dungeon. Or alternatively, we have the Master of Shadows. Uh -huh. In the case that wasn't clear, that Mike is today me. is the Master of Shadows. <laughs> And the Master of Shadows in the original base game of Rune mostly managed the monsters. Uh, the Master of Shadows in the expansion Light and Darkness does have a bit more agency. There's going to be some nightmare cards and be a little bit more control. Some additional things are being added so that the Master of Shadows is a drop more than a... Um GM more than a GM. Yeah. That's I guess that yeah. more than more than a GM effectively. Now to that end, the Master of Shadows over here has a specific goal. Their goal in the scenario we're playing as is to make sure that the heroes, of which I have two, both have to resurrect during the course of the game. When a hero dies, they effectively make a, a pact with the darkness. Uh, you're going to also be leveling up. They're, both characters are proceeding across multiple adventures. Both characters can gain experience, add new skills, slowly develop, and so it is moving forward. Because even though uh, you know the Master of Shadows, aka Meg, might disrupt me and foil my plans. Aha. Every time. Every time. <laughs> You're still going to go ahead and continue moving forward to the next adventure with whatever degrees of experience or benefits that you've gotten along the way. And so that's kind of a general overview of what's going on. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start this off. It's worth noting camera-wise, we're going to be moving things around over here as necessary because the dungeon is going to develop as we build things out. So there'll be some navigation, some building things out. But with that, let's go ahead and start a game of Rune, picking our characters. We're playing as Master of Shadows versus over here we're playing the campaign the light and darkness the destiny of Arun over here and we are facing off we're gonna go ahead and select our characters so we're gonna have a master of shadows over here it's gonna be a level five over here i believe master of shadows level six i think everything's level six if not mistaken there we go that could be level seven then we're gonna have you could be level seven but we're not gonna have that did i not hit okay four five six continue there we go we're gonna have a uh a warrior i'm playing as one of the new characters and one of the old characters and we have a monk so the monk's going to be a new character, and we're going to have the warrior for our basic character, and the adventure begins. While journeying through a relentless downpour, you find yourself lost in a mysterious forest where the path fades into the undergrowth. Suddenly, a woman's scream pierces the silence and quickens your pace. Before you, a drenched and injured mage with fear in her eyes pleads for your assistance. A ghoul emerges from the bushes, ready to attack you. The Master of Shadows rolls one blue dice. Ha -ha. Each skull deals one damage to the adventurer of their <laughs> choice. Each lightning gives them a stamina point. Okay. So, I'll do two damage to your warrior. My warrior is going to have... Uh, which one's which over here? My warrior is this over here. I should know which one's which. Uh... My warrior is over here. This is my warrior. Oh, yeah. monk. There we go. Perfect. Okay, great. So, uh, you're doing too much to my warrior, dropping my health from seven that, down to five. Monk. My monk, you're doing to my warrior. Yes. Okay. Can I get change? Uh, I'm gonna I would love for you to change, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Master of Shadows is uh, mean. <coughs> Wait, I think I just gave you, <coughs> you nine. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay. Uh, now we're going to continue. An adventurer suffered damage. Um, Thank you, adventurers. I am Lysandra. My wounds ache with pain. We must leave this place. We're lost in the depths of an enchanted forest where nothing is as it seems. Assist me in escaping, and I will reward you handsomely. As you venture deeper into the forest, a very upset elf approaches you. How dare you trespass upon my sanctum? Offer your food as penance for your insolence. 
Hmm. Do I intimidate the elf or give him your food? Hmm. My a very food? upset elf <laughs> approaches you. How do you trespass? Offer your food as penance for your insolence. I don't love. How I don't dare. Yeah, I don't love being demanded. If you were hungry, it's one thing, but I'm going to intimidate the elf. The elf locks eyes with your group. His pride clearly wounded. In a menacing whisper, he assures that you will regret this. I feel like I will. As he disappears into the forest, you notice a glow emanating from a mystical tattoo on the elf. The Master of Shadows rolls a black die. A lightning gives a shadows card to the adventurer of their choice. As you continue on your way, you come face to face with an injured baby goblin, growling in pain. Do I heal it or do I kill it? Take it home. Take it home. I'm the Master of Shadows. I, I know. know. You should listen to That's me. what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I think that this should go over to your side because sure. you're the only one using it. That makes sense. I'm going to go and put this over here for right now. But in any case, uh, as far as an injured baby goblin growling in pain, it's I feel like I already pissed off the elf. I should uh, limit it's a my. Baby. I'm going to heal it. After feeding and caring for the goblin with Lysandra's help, the creature hastily escapes with a shrill cry, <laughs> leaving behind naught but a strange atmosphere. The Master of Shadows gains one stamina point. Yay! Soon after, the group finds itself at a crossroads. Lysandra, with a serious face, describes the options. Adventurers, we stand at a crossroads. On one side, the dark forest. This accursed place will force you to relive your most haunting memories. Only the strongest minds will be able to withstand its dark magic. The other path leads to Olger's Bridge. Where a hulking ogre stands guard. There, one of us must face a sacrifice to pass. The choice is yours. Uh, the cursed place. I feel like I annoyed the elf in the dark forest, so I'm gonna go with Olger's bridge. Okay. Upon arriving at the bridge, you find yourself face to face with a massive and fierce ogre, Olgor. Hello, friends. What a cursed <laughs> bridge. Must play take big slap with ogre. Yeah, fun. Choose a player. The Master of Shadows rolls a red die. The adventurer loses one health point per skull rolled. I'm choosing the monk. I have. Yeah, I'm going to choose the monk. One. One health point. I can deal with that. This the adventurer is the got monk. a small slap. This is the monk. Oh, wrong. Uh, yeah, let's go into that. Did okay. you mean to choose the monk? No, no, it's all good. It's okay. all good. I'm going to go ahead. The adventurer got a small slap. Once out of the grove, your adventuring party comes across a fountain. You find an inscription that reads, To drink this water means accepting the unpredictability of death and the mystery of the unknown. It's making a bold choice without the guarantee of tomorrow to brave the dangers. Isn't this the very essence of the adventure of life? I'm going to move on without drinking. You decide to continue your journey without drinking from this fountain, heeding the inscribed warning. As you move forward, you sense a presence behind you in the bushes. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna, I got a warrior and a monk. I'm gonna face the, I'm gonna face the noise. <laughs> I got a warrior. You and hear a rustling monk. in the bushes, drawing nearer. Fear climbs. Suddenly, a dark mist rises, revealing a silhouette in the fog. Lucian appears, a serpent perched on his shoulder. Ooh. Its glittering eyes fixed on you with unsettling intelligence. Lysandra stands at his side. This shadow mage, a figure from the oldest legends, exudes an aura of power and intensity that instantly enchants you. Your courage knows no bounds, adventurers. You chose to face the unknown, to brave danger without fear. This choice, this willingness to take risk, is the very essence of adventure. I am Lucian, and Lysandra is my apprentice. Your trials in this forest were a mere test designed by us to guard a legendary dungeon. Mm -hmm. I have almost abandoned hope of finding adventurers like you. Come, a grand adventure awaits, offering the chance to change our world. Follow me. Who is Lysandra? Lysandra is a formidable mage and my eternal student. Together, we strive to stop Tan Rider, who serves the Master of Shadow by awakening the Shadow Sources. The shadow sources allow the master of shadows to control monsters and corrupt them. Our fight is for peace and stability in Erun. Why does Tundra want to wipe out Erun? Why? 
Tanrider's desire to ravage Erun stems from a transformation most dark. Once an aspiring arcane elf, treachery and torment twisted her into a creature of spite. The Master of Shadows seized her mind, morphing her into a potent banshee. Through her, he seeks dominion over Erun by stirring the shadow sources, thereby amassing more power. Her downfall illustrates how even the noblest beings can be consumed by darkness. Start the quest. Okay. Here stands the ominous entrance to the dungeon. We remain unseen, not followed by watchful eyes. I am bound by ancient magic that guards this place and prevents me from entering. But within my power lies the ability to open one of these sealed doors. Fear not, valiant adventurers, for Lysandra will accompany you. A guiding light in the shadow depths you are about to traverse. Before you lies a crossroads of fate, a choice that could reshape Irun. In the shadow's lair, you must outpace Tanrida to seize the Black Locket. Retrieve it, whatever the peril, for its importance cannot be overstated. In the Forgotten Dungeon, the Shadow Grimoire lies hidden, perhaps guarded by unseen forces. Should it fall into my possession, I could seal the Shadow Forces forever. The time is now, and retreat is no longer an option. Your decision, weighty and final, will echo throughout the ages. Okay, and with that... The quest, the destiny of Arun, starts. Turn one starts. Master of Shadows, draw two plague cards, choose one, place it in your hand, and sacrifice the other. So, the basic sequence of play is going to be the dungeon, the destiny of a ruin, a ruin, the light of a ruin is going to go ahead and, and broadcast the events of the first turn. Then the Master of Shadow takes their turn, which means the Master of Shadow is going to go ahead and uh, start by drawing two nightmare cards every single, two play cards every single turn. Those play cards are going to give her choices. One is sacrificed, one is held onto. And then from there, the Master of Shadows gets to control the various minions in the dungeon. As it starts over here, we currently are starting off, if we go ahead and look at this, this is currently our dungeon right now, so we set this up already. We have a table, two locked doors, someone we can actually talk to over here, and then our starting pathway with our heroes on it, and one of our adventurers has to speak to Lucian over there. Past that, uh, you right now get to go ahead and take your turn. With mm -hmm. no one on the board, you get to do your, what's your ability called again? Ooh, Power of Shadows. The Power of the Shadows. With no minions on the board, the Master of Shadows simply rolls dice and preps to get stamina. So that's going to be two stamina gained for future turns or future things that will have to happen. And then from there, I believe it is now my turn. So on my turn, I'm going to go ahead. I get a movement die for each character. My characters have two actions. On your turn, you can take an actions. And this is going to be mostly true for Meg's minions as well, for the Master of Shadows minions. But you have movement, you have you have movement, you have attack and you have search and, uh, and 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 prepare for battle. Prepare for battle is where you're going to simply gain a stamina, helping you out being able to power up your cards in different ways. Movement's gonna help you move around the dungeon in different ways, where you could, let's say, talk to Lucian over here and then continue moving as, ne as needed. Uh, and then combat is, as you might imagine, combat. So we're gonna go ahead and start. We are already adjacent to a rune, so we can do it to Lucian, so we can simply talk to Lucian right now. And to that end, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's do this over here. Hi, Lucian. Warrior speaks to Lucian. So, brave adventurers, what path so, will you... So, brave adventurers... You wanted to so what bad. What <laughs> path will you choose? I think I'll choose... Ah, uh, do I choose the Shadow Lairs or the Forgotten Dungeon? I'm gonna choose the Forgotten Dungeon. May fortune guide your way. The east door is unlocked. To open it, say, your adventurer opens the Forgotten Dungeon. Okay, so now the east door over here, that's going to be never eat, eat this one over here is going to be unlocked. And so once I'm next to it, I can go ahead and just simply say, open that door. So to that end, I'm going to start by taking a movement action with my, uh, let's go ahead with my, hmm. I'm going to go with my warrior over here. I'm going to roll. I got two movement plus my default movement of four. Uh, you always have a roll and a four movement default. My warrior is going to go, uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And then at the door, I'm going to go ahead and interact with the door, opening up the door, which means I'm going to say, Warrior, open the Forgotten Dungeon. Okay. 
This room pulsates with powerful energy. The two prisoners before you bear a mysterious shadow mark. Proceed with caution. Okay. Go ahead, Meg. That's your warrior? That's my warrior, yes, indeed. Okay, because you looked at your monk stats for movement. That is true. I keep doing that. I keep mixing I feel up like... the... Uh, I should... <laughs> a trap! A Tun Rider's test! Hidden treasures, riches for you! Save me, quick! Disregard that madman's ramblings. If you abandon me, my power will be wielded by shadows. Mm. Free me, and I shall gift you a spell of might and majesty. Hmm. So we either want hidden treasures by freeing the madman, or power be the free mesh will give you a spell of might and majesty. I'm going to go with free the madman. I think that always makes more sense. The mages never can be trusted. <laughs> okay. You rich! <laughs> Free! Oh, look here! Look here! Snakes! Watch the snakes! <laughs> the madman runs off and opens a secret passage for you. There are two beautiful chests, one gold and one silver. At the same time, the mage is consumed by the shadows, summoning two fire crunchers in the room. Ooh! Okay. That's me! So, we are placing over here some stuff into the room over here, which means we currently need to place... Wait, what happens over here? Wait, I'm so confused where we're up to. We had these over here. I think we skipped an interaction point over here. No. Okay, here we go. There were two people over here, and we immediately talked to one of them, it looks like, accidentally. So right now, there should be another door over here. Oh, I thought he here. just kind of yelled when you opened the door. Yeah, it did seem like that, but there was a delay. So I think I actually talked to them a bit prematurely. We're going to go ahead and grab a dresser over here. Toss this over here. That's so cool. And then we're going to, I guess we replace these over here. Adventure opens the golden chest or opens the silver chest. So right now, we have something two fire crunchers. So you're going to go ahead and throw in two fire crunchers into the room. And we have these over here, I guess, over here. Okay. And these are going to be interaction points we can talk to. These are just basically going to be reminders that you can talk to different things in the room over here. Okay. Now uh, runs off. So the people became fire crunchers. Uh, the people became... The flame crunchers. The mages consumed in shadows, summoning two fire crunchers into the room. Yep, so go ahead and summon the food fire crunchers into the room. All right, so flame here's crunchers. my card for the flame crunchers. They have one health. They'll give you three experience when you kill them. I have six movement, and I can move diagonally. Um, I have an attack where I'll be rolling a yellow die and two black for defense, and then I also have Retribution and Intrepid. Okay, so if you want to grab those skills, you're prepped. They have one health point and three experience. And then it also has Leaping. After the Flame Cruncher's attack, it moves back one square. Okay, so you can go ahead and so summon those intrepid into the room. Intrepid and Retribution. Here is Intrepid. Okay. And so that's going to be my warrior has done his first act over, the, act over there. I think for my second action, I'm going to simply prepare for battle. So if you want to give me a, a prepare for battle, can you give me a stamina if you don't mind? Sorry. No, all good, all I'm good. I'm not finding retribution. It might be in your starting hand of cards. I cheeked. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. It was in red, so I made me think it was ah, going to be red. That's fair. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and have my monk move. My monk's going to go ahead and roll. Rolls four, getting eight movement. That's good because that means I might be able to actually go out and attack one of the other countries. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think I'm going to go out and attack one of your fame countries over here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look over here what we can do. And I want to take a look at my skills for my monk. And we have group attack, backstab, which is useful, but your problem is you're facing against the wall. We could do adrenaline, but I don't actually have stamina, so that won't help me. Lightning attack and riposte are useful, but I'm not going to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a simple basic attack with my monk stats, which means I'm rolling Let's see. a black, a blue, and a yellow. I'm using my great staff basic attack weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and roll against. I currently have six health. Um, I have mana for various things if I need them. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm simply going to hit you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit you. Oh, wait, one sec. I should look at my abilities. I should look at my abilities. I need to look at my, my monk over here. My monk has a few abilities worth noting. We have Astral Balance, where I can turn these Light and Darkness tokens. These tokens flip over, and they have different currencies that are powering up different cards in my hand, which means I actually should be drawing cards over here. And then the ability I have, Astral Balance, will let me flip a three of these face down in order to gain a health, a mana, or a stamina. I have Clear Astral, which helps me draw these cards, and I have Sky Dance, which means I can actually move diagonally. Normally, you cannot move diagonally. Mm -hmm. So I should look at these over here. Mm. Oh, that's useful. You have two defense. Okay, fine. Okay. 
Hmm. Interesting. Give me a second over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have a great staff. Show me great staff. Mm. Hopefully that works. Hopefully. Nope. That's great stuff. Show me the great staff. Okay. okay. Here Whoa, we go. Oh, that's so cool. So you can look up your, your equipment Light at any point. Strong. This staff is a perfectly balanced weapon. Legends say that only an exceptional fighter would be able to reveal its true power. Are you an exceptional okay. fighter? I am an exceptional fighter. Yes, I am. But that's going to show you the various weapons. So you can pop up weapons to see other attributes about them. I think I'm going to go ahead... Oh, that could be useful. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. I th I had a cool card that could have been intensely useful, but I don't think it's going to matter. So right now I'm going to go ahead and roll against you, Meg. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll. It looks like I rolled one skull, two skulls. So I have two skulls against you, which means I believe you get to go ahead and roll defense now. Okay. And you also have your skills, and you have the creature skills. Yes, so I believe it's after anyway, but um, yep. I'm going to end up using all three of these. Okay. That's okay. going to be one defense, which means currently you would be dying at the moment. Right. So but I have two I, attack to your... I would still be able to use this, right? Yes, so in general the way it works is there's an attack and defense uh, balance. So you have your attack, which right now I have a great staff, so I have a modified attack weapon, I have more dice to roll, uh, then Meg has her default defense stats, uh, stats, but then creatures have their own stats over here, these own skills, effectively. These are all skills, and these can be used for free by the creature. Additionally, Meg, as the Master of Shadows, has her own skill pool that she can go ahead and pay stamina for to use as extra skills. So you always have your own pool of skills as a character, and then you have your skills as the monsters themselves, just one requires more stamina, and then throughout the course of the game, she can level up gathering more skills for the Master of Shadows. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay two stamina, because Repost is free for me, but mm -hmm. I'll add Retribution and Intrepid to it. Okay. So I'll pay the two to do two lightning damage. Uh, retribution you. is free, and so is Intrepid. Oh, because it's his. They're hers, yes. Those you don't pay for. Hers. The only one you have to pay for is Ripost, and that you don't have to worry about. Okay. Okay, so you, what are you doing right now? So you're Two doing... lightning, because this will be one lightning, and this okay. lets me add one more. Add one lightning damage to your Ripost. Okay, so the way that works over there is whenever you have lightning damage, lightning damage mirrors back against the defense. It's a kind of an immediate quick attack back. I can still defend against it using black dice over here, but only up to my attack, only up to my defense stat, but not more. Meaning in a normal attack right now, I'd roll five defense. The monk is very good at defense. But in a lightning damage attack, you only roll maximum of what's actually being dealt to you, which means I go ahead and I will uh, roll two dice over here. Mm -hmm. And I got nothing, which means Yay. I take two damage against my monk, which is not looking great as a good start to uh, characters that have uh, have to die. Your goal is to kill my characters, and I'm I just took two damage, so I'm down to four health, which is again not the I best. Mean, you start at seven. I You're still above fifty percent. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I feel really confident. I'm sure the game's half over. You're doing great. Okay, uh, that is my monk's action for movement and attack. Uh, so which then he means does die. He does die. He does not... Who does? Your guy dies. Yeah. Yes, your guy dies. So he comes off? Yep, your guy's going to die, and I'm going to mark off on my board that I gain the three experience for that guy. Great. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. And now to you, I believe... I believe we simply end turn at that point. I've done my turn. I've done both my characters. Everything is good to go. And so, I hit end turn, and we go to the next round. Turn two starts. Adventurers, you are hypnotized by a sweet and mesmerizing melody. Your grabs tighten on your weapon. You must resist. The shadows are taking hold of you. <laughs> Master of shadows, take the control of the warrior. They become one of your monsters. You may combine their talents and spells to yours. You can perform a movement and an attack. The event ends after the Master of Shadows phase. The monk's gonna die. <laughs> I will grant you a blessing. You will surely need it in this dungeon. Each adventurer gains three stamina points. Master of Shadows, draw two plague cards, choose one, place it in your hand, and sacrifice the other. So for the record, the events over here are randomized. They are not fixed. Like, just to give an example, just to make sure I can understand how to play this game, I've played through this already, uh, partially played through this, and the last time, other things happened that were far more favorable for the adventurers, so um, I'm not sure I'm loving this sequence over here. So I can play these at any time? Yes. Okay. And when I, if I, let's say I'm summoning things, yes. do they have summoning sickness? No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to play this card right away, which is invocation. Okay. Um, and it's summon to the board one living armor or two skeleton archers or three goblins. And I'm going to choose my skeleton archers. Okay. So yes. two, please. 
All right, so I will put them, hmm, let's see, they're ranged. There's no doors in here? Not, oh, there's, so I believe there is, let me just go ahead and pop this up over here. There is a, no, there's no door currently, no. Okay. So, these guys are so funny, look at how they're bending back. They are bending back, yeah, they're pulling. Uh, so funny. There we go. There we go. Okay. So actually, there is actually a door. I slightly made a mistake over here. Mm. This over here, this room, is actually over here. Ah. These guys are there. And then that way, we have different rooms over here going on. So we have a few different rooms. This one has another doorway into it. And this one has a door and an interaction point. So okay. a locked or closed door and an interaction point over here. So that's something we can go ahead and talk to at some point. Okay. So there's actually a few interaction points, and these guys, I believe, are over here. That they still would be over here because the doors, the passages are behind. There we go. Okay. That should be more properly set up. Okay. All right. So now I can move and attack with everybody. Yes, you can. Two Ooh. actions per character. Okay. Um. But you can't use the same action, right? You cannot use the same action. Each action is limited. So your characters have prepare for like combat. Like they're ranged. I can't attack. Correct. With. Yep. Okay. Prepare for combat. You have. Um, oh, but I can yep. do stuff. I can do other things. Um. Okay, just let me quickly. No problem. Take your time for your next attack with. Okay. Don't no, forget, you are controlling my warrior too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it does feel like my monk might die. I know. I might just let that happen, honestly. So. At this point. I think I will actually move and attack with your guy first. So okay, do I have ahead. to roll or do they have at least two? Who will have at least two what? Your warrior. They have at least two movements, yes. Okay. So I just want it to move here anyway. Whoa. Okay. And then I'll attack, like, however... Yeah, you, you should attack. You're going to go ahead and roll a three yellow dice. Which I'm still going to try defending against, but I will defend against the five black dice, which is the good side. When do I have to choose to use this? Like, this is replace all lightning on your tag roll with uh, skulls? You can use it, uh, yeah. After you, I After, roll? yeah. Okay. Oh, no, wait. These are the ones that are not the ones I can use. No. These are the ones I That's can That's the use. incredibly powerful <laughs> one that you actually have access to. But I have this one. Mm -hmm. And this one. I'm going to pay one to use adrenaline. Oh, I, was, I was just looking at adrenaline. To add a black die. <laughs> okay. So you're attacking against me with a whole lot, basically. Okay. That's going to be two hits, it looks like. Right? Can I defensively roll? Would I have to choose to do this first? I think so. How much health do you have? Four? I have four health and I have five dice. Each okay. of them with a 33% chance of defending. Then I will wait. Then okay. go for it. I'm going to go ahead and go. And we're going to roll. And I got two defense, so I'm good. And I also, it's also worth noting, we both get our stamina. So if you oh, want yeah. to go ahead and pass me stamina, whenever you roll, you're going to gain stamina on that character. Okay, so I defended successfully against my own warrior, which is, I guess, fine. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to have my archer attack you from behind. Um, oh, that was from behind Oh, that well. was behind. So you, can, you, have, you have to play backstab. You can play backstab. You have to? Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to. You still get it back. Backstab's not lost. Oh, you lost. get it back every time? Yeah, backstab's okay. in general. So this is on an attack from behind with a weapon. Modify the result of one die to your attack roll to get an extra skull. An extra skull. So I would have three, but you yes. rolled so you, two yeah. defense. So I'd get one, one, one damage. Okay, great. That's beautiful. And the backstab would apply as well with both the archers. Yes. Yeah. So I will now use my archers. Um, so I am rolling one black die. Okay. And two yellow dice. Okay. Um... And I'll do adrenaline again. Oh, there should be a bookcase as well in here, by the way. This is over here, technically. Okay. Oh my gosh. What did you get? What did you get? Oh, wow. I'm going to use... Hold good... on, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm can gonna you use... I'm going to use good fortune. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going to use good fortune. You ready? Cause that's a bad roll. Yeah, are you sure? Because this says or counters bad luck. I think bad luck is what you do to other people, and good fortune is only for yourself. Because otherwise, that wouldn't make sense. Well, let's pull up bad luck. Bad, bad luck. luck. 
We all got bad luck. If there's a card, yeah, there bad go. luck. Target adventure rerolls any dice roll of your choice and keeps the result you before. The target adventure. Yeah. Or counters good fortune. So then good fortune's for you and bad luck is for. So you're not an adventurer in a typical sense, but the target adventure rerolls any dice roll of your choice. Possibly. It's possible good fortune's only for you. Yeah. No. I think so. so let's go only because I read what it counters. No problem. That's the no only problem. reason I thought that. No problem. Uh, so fine. So I'm taking. But I do think I might add to it. Of course uh, you although will. you're at three health. Three health. Five but you defense. have five thing. So I will pay two to add another thing to it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that by rolling five of these back. So you're currently dealing how much damage? Five, six. So you're dealing like six damage. Okay. Right. Um, you had one, two, three, four. I took one away because I need it. So we can go ahead and place that over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have six damage. I'm going to roll against that. And I get one defense, which I means, I believe, I'm going to start this adventure You could re-roll. No, you, now you could re-roll. I'm going to go ahead and pay a stamina to do good fortune over here. Oh. Trying to re-roll. Yes. Sorry, Alex. This is this is one of my archers. Yes, yeah, it's one of the archers. I believe I should also have this. Yeah, you should. Do you not do it? So this should be modified. I thought that was your six. But you paid for top, no, so you I paid. No, I paid for power. <coughs> So this should be like this. Okay. So you actually have seven. seven. Yeah, it's much better, much better. I'm gonna go ahead and roll again. And sadly, it looks like I'm dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and lose all my stamina, unfortunately. And I am going to lie down in the dungeon oh, alone. No. You okay? Okay, so I still have my flame cruncher and my other archer, but I don't know, I don't think I can hit you because you're on my team. So I will have my skeleton uh, I'll have both of them prepare for battle, so I okay. take two more stamina back. Okay. I never rolled stamina. I don't think I did. Oh, no, I rolled a lot you, of spells. Yes. Um, and then I will perhaps... Since all I need is line of sight, I'm going to... I don't roll to move them. I just move them their movement, right? Correct. Okay, so I'm going to move this skeleton. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just to, like, maybe go to that door. I don't know. They can move six anyway. And then my flame cruncher, I'm just going to move him, like, closer to this door. Okay. Okay. And that is what I will have them do. Hmm. Okay. So, on my turn, I am sadly and unfortunately going to have to make a pact with the shadows. I was going to say, do you automatically come back? I will, no, so uh, there's a few options as far as how we come back from death, but we'll talk about that in a second, but I think that was your turn, so now it's my turn. So yeah, so on my turn, I'm going to go ahead and make a pact of the shadows, which means over the, the Master Shadows board, there's a few pacts you can make, but effectively you're taking on a debt. So I'm taking three of these cards in order to resurrect my, my adventurer. I could hold off and wait, but then I'm going to go ahead and do so now, because I feel like having an adventurer to kill you guys is going to be helpful. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull back my adventurer in order to be able to do that, and I have three packs of shadows, and as I gain stamina, it's going to go towards Meg one at a time. Once I load up this card with three stamina, it's going to go to the Master of Shadows, until I've done that three times. Uh, if I die at any point again, I lose all those shadows cards. So you don't have an ongoing pact, uh, but Meg needs to now focus on killing the Barbarian, which feels... Like it's going to be uh, doable. Okay. And to that end, let's see what we got over here. So. Or could I potentially kill a monk again? Yeah, you could. Okay. Yeah, you could kill. And I think you go back yeah, to I go, Yes, yes. So can I get some health for that? So I can get seven health over here. We're going to go there. And then we're going to go ahead and deal with what I need to deal with. What so do these do? Those are going to power some of the cards I have. So the monk uh, over here has a handful of cards, which I'm not going to show you if they are, but some of them <laughs> uh, have powers in them. And then the warrior has mana for our abilities, the ranger and tough abilities. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. It actually helps me. So the warrior has tough, which is useful. Versus this guy over here, the monk is in trouble. So let's go ahead and figure out what we ha want over there. I also have these various locations. I could walk into the room, but I'm uh, worried about leaving your guys alive. I feel that's a mistake. So I think I'm going to start with my warrior. Uh, where are you guys? The problem is I can only really take out two of you at a time. I don't think I can take out more. And you moved your archer back, which is probably a smart move. So, let's figure out what I can do over here. Art of Battle, you may use the same offensive skill twice with the same rule. Ranger, change the result of a, of a melee attack to obtain an extra skull. Hmm. Okay. So, look to defend against the furniture is destroyed. Okay, so I think you're currently, your archer has an automatic defense and your flame cruncher does not. So I think we're going to start with, I'm going to start with telekinesis over here. So speaking of which, Meg, I'm going to go ahead and spend one mana. What? I'm spending a mana on telekinesis. Throw a piece of furniture that doesn't have an Arun on it, meaning it doesn't have a uh, interaction point. 
and then throw that at a target in sight to inflict upon them damage. The furniture is destroyed. So I'm going to have to flip two of my light tokens to the other side, which I'll use them for other skills that require darkness tokens. But I'm throwing these pieces of furniture at your person. Oh my to gosh. Inflict <laughs> this. Well, we're going to see what happens over here. I may or may not kill you. I'm going to throw that. That's three hits against you. Do I defend? You still defend against. Yes, two defend against. This is not undefendable damage. So you're still going to roll your two defense. Now, can I do like repose and stuff? Uh, that's an interesting question. I would argue not. It says defense roll. Lose anything against after a melee roll. attack. Yes. That's and you're not taking the attack no. action. You're doing a card action. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything I can do to like shield myself? Not really. Although this I could just to add a black die in my defense. For next attack with a weapon I, or defend. Add thingy for your next or defense roll. Yeah, I guess so. It says to defend against. I'll do that just to be as safe as possible. Yeah. I don't even know if I... I mean, I'm just trying to save one little sure, dog, sure, sure. but it's a dog. All right, so I got a black one, and two it's more. him. So yeah, he gets two more. You need to get three defenses, unfortunately, because I rolled well oh. back. Yeah. <laughs> I love how I paid for something and then you, 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 you can choose on paper. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it back. Statistically, when yeah. you, so you're guaranteed to die otherwise, but you still roll because you might get stamina. Right. And you do not get stamina, oh. and you die, unfortunately. This, this furniture is destroyed. This guy's dead, and I once again get another three experience points. Okay. Yep. I think I'm going to do something. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember if it's helpful right now, but okay. I'm just going to do it. So I have Shadow Sacrifice, condition if a monster is defeated. Okay. Randomly pick two sacrifice cards and play them immediately. So I get to play my other two sacrificed ones. I don't remember what they are. Okay. Two And play them immediately? Both? You play both of them immediately? Yeah. Wow. So okay. this says Malice. Choose a monster. It gains one die in attack and defense until the end of the quest. So that's for the rest of the thing, yep. right? All right. So I'll give it to the guy that's like safe over here. Safe is a relative term. Ish. Um, and then this one is Manipulation. Give this card to an adventurer. The adventurer rolls one blue die at the start of each turn, and each uh, stamina makes them lose one mana. That sounds lovely. Which adventure do you want to have? The monk. Okay. So it's going to go on to the monk. Manipulation. I'm not done though because that was an extra action, so I still get to go ahead and uh, that was a card play, it wasn't even an action. All right, uh, and all my flame countries are gone. And I'm going to go ahead and figure out how I want to deal with this. Ideally, I want to kill your people because I want the chest, but I don't want your people alive. So let's start by trying to have. <laughs> I don't want your people alive. Let's start by having the warrior attack this guy who is nicely in a corner, so I can't like backstab him, unfortunately. In fact, both of you both positions, so you can't backstab. You did well there. You did thank well. Thank you. Thank you. Was that intentional? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Because nice. I backstabbed you, and, you realized and stayed you in a corner. That. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, and I will move my warrior. So I'm going to take my warrior's turn. He's going to go ahead and roll a movement die, but I don't think it's necessary, because I really am just going to go ahead and, um, I guess, let's go ahead and do this way, so similar to the situation. Because you can attack. Uh, no, because over here, you can, have, you can attack to either the sides or the front. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move backwards. Yeah, but I think you. you have your back to me right now. No, this is... I assume this is the back. Oh, right now, I'm, this is the fa I'm facing the sword. Okay. All right? And I'm going to go ahead and roll against you, which means I'm going to roll three of these against your character. I also have a minor healing potion on both my characters, which is good to know now, but would have been helpful. I guess you killed me in one turn, so it didn't help. Okay, that's only one hit, unfortunately, but I'm definitely spending a stamina in order to go ahead and re-roll. So I currently have these over here, so I'm going to spend a re-roll, and I'm going to see if I get better. And I'm going to choose... That roll. Definitely that roll. That roll is what I'm choosing. You roll defensively. Is there any double shield? No. no. But you might get stamina, so you may as well. Yeah, I could, I could add another black die, yeah. but... Alright, but this is an attack? This is an attack, yeah. Is it a melee attack? It Even is a melee attack, yes. It's oh, a yeah, you're a warrior. Alright, so I can use repose. Let's go for it. Either way. Um... Yeah. Because you're doing intricate, basically. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to see. I can't afford adrenaline. Mm. Um, if I roll and gain some, can I then use it to add retribution? I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not. It's not All affecting right. the roll. So then I will do adrenaline to have an extra die. Okay. Go ahead and roll. See what you get. And then I have to pay this because I'm using entrapment. Okay. Right? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So I don't. I think this would happen only after. I don't think you pay for enchantment right away. Because otherwise, how would you know if you're losing health? That's fair. I'm pretty sure you don't. So I, I think you that's get true. Back. That makes sense to yeah. me. Okay, and then that's that. Yep. Right. So then he dies. He dies, and I go ahead and get 
another, how much XP? Four, four XP. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be 10 XP for my, that was on the wrong card. That was the wrong card. Oh, the person forgot the XP for that one. Well, we'll it's remember. It's Yep. That's a good point. One, two, three, four. And cross that out. Okay. And then we go ahead. That was my warrior's first action. No, I moved and I did that because I positioned. Mm -hmm. uh, which means my monk now currently, my monk has the ability to roll and see what happens next. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and roll with the monk. And so we're going to roll and see what we get. We got six over here. So the question is, I can easily get to you. I can easily go there and try to hurt you. Or I can try to stick over here and get something in the chest. And I think I'm going to try to move to the chest. So I'm going to go ahead, one, two, three, four over here. Uh, and then I'm going to interact. So I'm going to search with the chest, which means it's going to be the uh, silver chest. I think the silver chest does seem more appealing. Monk opens the silver chest. Inside an ancient envelope sealed with a dusty sigil, you find the forgotten ring and a major healing potion. Okay, so I got a Forgotten Ring, which adds a blue die to your attack roll. Forgotten Ring. Ring, okay. Plus blue. Uh, Lost with Aegis Relic, and it could be used by the monk. So in general, it's going to show you on the on the app who can use it. Mm. So actually, the monk and the warrior are exactly who can use it. Which I wonder if they craft the adventures to some extent based on the Maybe. gear. Yeah. Okay, so Forgotten Ring adds a blue die, and we also get a major healing potion which heals four health points, wow. which uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep that on. Major healing potion. Okay. And there we go. And that can be used by all classes. Excellent. I'm okay with that, that, that exchange. And I could still open the other chest. It looks like there's no reason why not. Okay. The silver chest is still present, so I can still use it. Okay. Uh, that was my interactions with mean, I believe. This goes off over here. Yeah. And then All from right. there, that's going to be the end of my turn. So we're going to move to the next turn. Good job. Turn three starts. The warrior is blessed by the light. If she is wounded, her wounds heal miraculously. She recovers two health points. Master of Shadows, draw two plague cards. Choose one, place it in your hand, and sacrifice the other. Okay. And I should draw up to my hand. All right, and now it's my turn. Yes. All right, I will add hatred to my guy as well. Okay. So he also has this die added to him now as well. Oh, I apologize. Um, my my warrior is supposed to, my monk and me. My monk's supposed to be rolling a die to see if I lose. At the start of your turn. When did you play it? You played a response. Mid response. Okay, good call. I was on top of it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, do you think from here I have line of sight to him? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you should. Okay. So I'll go to here. Okay. Uh, uh, Just put it off the board. Off the board. There you go. All right. So I have these dice. Yep. Plus these and this. Okay. Um, and I'll use an adrenaline to add one more. Okay. You know, I'm not going to. I'm going to save it for good fortune. <laughs> You taught me that trick. Oh, Ooh. I don't need it. Is good fortune as many as you want? Uh, good fortune, which one? The die? Good fortune, I believe, is the entire roll. Any dice roll. Any dice roll, yeah, not yeah, any yeah. dice in the roll. Okay. All right, so then I will uh, leave it there. Okay. So you're currently doing one, really two, three, anything. four, five damage, and you get a stamina. Why do I not like that? Why do I not like that? I don't like it because it feels like you have too many dice. Now that I just gained a stamina, can I add power to it? Add one. What do you mean? Oh, add one to your attack roll weapon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right. So yeah. now it's one more. So you're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, basically. Yeah. Okay. Six damage against. I'm guessing I'm going to lose something. I'll go ahead and pay for adrenaline to add. Mm, you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go ahead and roll for it. So I'm rolling five defense dice right now. That's a lot. It's a lot, but there's a one through oh, chance that's of your warrior. That's, that's my your warrior. Fighter. Both them, both them have the same five defense dice. Wow. Yeah, they both have a leather helmet and ar leather armor and helmet. Okay. That's one defense, which means I believe I take five damage. You did six, right? I don't know. You added one to it. It was previously five. You made it six. Okay, then yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and lose that over there, which is not the greatest, but I will compensate for that. Well, when it's my turn. Uh, I moved and shot, and I only have one guy, so I believe yeah. that's all she wrote. That's all but she I'm wrote. I'm going to take these back unless you need them just to remember that they have those buffed. No problem. Oh, he's rolling the extra dice. I, should, I really should have taken them out. Well, oh, I only just added the blue one this round. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, now you roll for the monk. I believe I roll for the monk. Uh, I think it's a certain kind of dice. I believe... Oh, you're right. It's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Adventure starts for each thingy, so yep. I don't get that. Yep, I don't lose anything. Okay. Which means I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out what I can do over here. So I have these over here. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, fine. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and roll for the warrior. The warrior's going to try to take out your person over there, and I think that's relevant to try to do that. We got four, which means I'm going to go ahead and try to head that away. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly what I need. Ooh. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and hit you, or try to hit you at least, which means we're going to go ahead and roll our three dice over here. What's your defense? You have an automatic defense. Do you roll this in defense too? And what's this? Yeah, it says attack and defense. So for both of those? Yeah, I added both of those too. You are way too strong. I don't like that one bit. I mean, once you kill him, you're gone. Once I kill him, but I mean, I have to make sure I kill him. I'm going to go ahead and pay a stamina to add a black die to the roll. Because I think that's worth it. And then we're going to go ahead and anything else I can do that's useful? I don't believe so. So we're just going to go ahead and roll for this. We're going to roll and see what we can do. Oh, wait one second. Tough. Roll the die. Nope. You may use the same offensive skill twice for the same roll. The cost is increased. So I'm going to pay two over here to be able to add another black die. That's my art of battle ability. Okay, And change the result of a die in a melee attack roll to obtain an extra hit or thingy. So we're gonna go ahead and roll. We got that over there, which means we're gonna go ahead and change uh, this over here to do that by paying a mana. I'm making sure that I, I wanna kill him is basically what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits against you. And you have one health point or two or three or four. Where's your skeleton archery? One health point. Yeah. I am. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I at least wanted, all I wanted was a stamina. Yeah. I mean, if you have a stamina, you can re-roll for I don't. more stamina. One, two, three, four, experience, and your guy's dead. That's going to be the archer over there, which means he is going to go ahead and interact with the chest. So, it's going to be... Monk opens gold chest. The chest turns out to be a mimic that bites the adventurer's arm, inflicting a yellow die of unstoppable damage. Replace the miniature on the board. That's going to be a hit. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and um, deal unstoppable damage to my monk. Fortunately, my monk's taking it because he already died. I can take that. And then this is going to be replaced by the mimic, which is somewhere over here. Where's the mimic? Do you have a mimic card? Yes. There should be a mimic thingy in here. It looks like a box. Like a treasure chest. Does it look like this, maybe? Yep, probably. Because okay. that could be what it is over there. But no, sorry, I got it. Never mind. No, this is over here. I got it. We yeah, found that it. is it. This is definitely it. <laughs> okay. We're going to place that on the board, and this goes away. I should have stuck with the silver chest. I should have called it a day. Okay. Note to self, boys and girls, not all chests are uh, good for you. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I can still actually attack it as well. Uh, so I'm going to... What's his attack stats? He's a five health. Uh, no, he's a one health, mm -hmm, four dice, whoa! I do not like the amount of defense he has. And his movement is six, which means I can't easily just run away from him. He also has greed. When the mimic dies, the adventurer who killed it receives a shadow card and tells Arun the adventurer searches the chest. We're gonna try to kill it. Let's see what we can do over here. Hmm. Well, didn't you move and then interact? Uh, interacting with the dungeon is free, I believe. Uh, oh, wait a second. Searching a chest might not be. So, searching a chest is a search. Search is an action. No. So, okay. intera other other interactions are fine. On the assumption is the search move? interactions. I moved. Yes. Yeah. So, then I'm done. Your turn. Okay. We're going to hit end turn. And now four starts. The cold penetrates the dungeon. No character can prepare for battle this turn. Master of Shadows, your darkness envelops the adventurers. Roll a black die. If you get a skull, each adventurer loses one health point. Master of Shadows, draw two plague cards, choose one, place it in your hand, and sacrifice the other. Okay. Mm. I will oh. take this one. So now it's my turn? Yep. 
I will play Shadow's Rage to give a yellow die to my Mimic. Okay. Um, and then I will... It said no characters, so I also probably can't prepare for battle. Correct. Okay, so I will first attack you. So I get a black die and two yellow. Mm-hmm. Um... You seem unsure. I'll walk around you and backstab. Okay, sounds good. I mean, you'll be able to backstab me too, but I only have one health, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what does that do from behind? Modify the result of one die. Okay. So I'll make this a two and okay. take a thing. So for right now, I'm attacking you for four. Okay. Uh, four, and then I'm gonna go ahead and roll defensively. I'm not gonna pay into it because I have no stamina. I'm gonna go ahead and roll, and I got one two defense, so I'm going to be denying uh, you by two, so I take two damage. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And I believe that's all I do. Which means I believe I'm walking into the next room, or trying to at some point. So now you have the die roll. Yep. So, uh, you, you oh, the die roll. Yep, we're gonna start off uh, this Master Shadow's turn. I'm gonna do the roll die, and I do indeed lose a mana. Okay. Okay. And that means from there, we're going to go ahead and figure out our next steps. Our next steps are probably walking into the dungeon. I don't even know if I care about your mimic right now. He's not that strong offensively. He's annoying, but he's not that strong offensively. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start by rolling for my warrior. My warrior is gonna roll and see our movement, and we got a movement of three. So the only part is with the movement of seven, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is and this I, door locked? Uh, this door, you know, that's a good question. I don't believe I still have options on that first door. No, I don't I don't believe I still have options. Because we chose to go the yeah, other way. Yeah, you have to choose way. Okay. So, because it was a pa it was a binary choice yeah, that it was, was left given to right. you. Yeah, yeah, it was the pendant or the yeah. tomb or something. It was the forgotten dungeon or the something crypt, the forbidden yeah. crypt and the forgotten dungeon, I believe. But in any case, uh, we're going to go ahead and... If they forgot about it, how did they remember to tell us to go there? They forgot what's in it. There you go. Um, so my warrior can't do anything else. He can't prepare for he can't search, so his turn is effectively done. Uh, anything else I can do here that's useful? Not really. I can spend <coughs> money to roll things, but I'm not going to bother doing that. So I think we're going to go to the monk's turn. The monk could try to deal with your chest, but I kind of... You know, honestly, probably a better idea to do that. I don't want to deal with opening the door yet. So we're going to ro roll for my monk. Monk's gonna get three plus my four, so I'm gonna, like you said, walk around <laughs> to the back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and then uh, figure out how to attack, which is going to be one, one, and one over here. And then we're going to go ahead and backstab as well. I think we don't have any stab to spend, so we can't do much there. So we're just gonna go ahead and attack you and hope for the best. We got four hits, which is not bad, plus our backstab makes it five hits. Okay, well, I have a lot for this, mm -hmm. so I will. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline. Okay. To give me a black die. Okay. He also has four. So one, two, three, four, and a blue, plus mm. I gave him a yellow. Okay. It's a lot of defense. I know. I hope it's enough. It's Whoa, not. Whoa, it was not enough. But you do get three stamina oh, out of it. Oh, Are you going to yeah. repost? Are you um, going to intrepid and repost me? Sure. How much health do you have? Uh, he has four health, but also he's not the one who needs to die. Killing him, killing him doesn't seem that advantageous to you. It's helpful. Yeah, is it helpful though? Why not? Because like, what do you get out of it? I already have three I get you off cards. The board. I guess that's reasonable, ish. Okay. So I will pay one, two, yep. to do four damage back to you. Okay. Four lightning damage back. Four lightning damage. So I'm gonna roll against that with my defense, which is all four of these. <coughs> Now we're gonna go ahead and roll. We got one loss, so he's still alive. <laughs> By the one. skin of his teeth. And the flip side is, uh, can you give me one stamina? <coughs> That's gonna go onto your card because that will slowly work its way towards you. Nice. Okay. And that's that. So, so that was my defense, that was your whole turn. Now it's back to me. Now it is, that was you your defense. You moved and then attacked. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, okay. that end turn. Five starts. Warrior, your allies are galvanized by your determination. They gain one stamina point. You find five gold coins on the ground. 
The dark energy of the dungeon seeps in, amplifying the hatred and power of both the adventurers and the shadow master. An adventurer and the shadow master each roll a blue die for a success test. Each lightning grants a blue die to all your attack rolls, while each skull grants a yellow die. Master of Shadows, draw two plague cards, choose one, place it in your hand, and sacrifice the other. Okay, so... I think it said all of your people, so the other one gets one too. It said all allies. It said warrior, your allies are galvanized. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I'm assuming if it specified yeah, yeah, warrior... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Dark Energy of the Sun Dungeon seeps in. Okay, so I rolled. Each lightning bolt grants a blue die to all your attack rolls. And each, what's it called? Each, uh... Skull. Well, each skull grants a yellow die. So you're gonna be getting a yellow die for all your attack rolls, and I'm gonna be getting two yellow dice for my attack rolls. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if I should good fortune that. Good fortune? Well, you don't, have any, you don't have any characters this turn. Yeah, but... Just to have that be... Is, is it for the turn? I think, I it think it's says for the you turn. get them. The Dark Angel Dungeon seeps in, amplifying the hatred and power both adventures. It might adventures. say take them away. An adventure in the Shadow Master, each roll blue die... Each lightning bolt grants a blue to all your attack rolls. I guess so, maybe. But it might take it away the next time. Yeah, you know, possibly. the next thing possibly, might say, yeah. okay, now the it's dissipated. You. Yeah. We'll see. No, it's... then I'll just stay with the one. Okay. You're right. You I draw think two play away. cards? Alright. Okay, so I will keep this one. Okay. Um, I will roll my two. You get one stamina. One stamina. And then I will play this on you. So it says restlessness. Choose an adventure, which I'll choose in a second. Roll one die. Each skull inflicts one damage. Each lightning bolt gives you one stamina. Spend one stamina to add an extra die as many times as you want. <laughs> okay, so I'll do two. Okay. And roll three dice. Three black dice. Okay, against two. Uh, against your monk. Okay. Now the warrior, if you kill the warrior, warrior's down to currently one, two, three, four, five. Warrior's down to six damage. Yeah. And if you kill him, you win. But can you defend against this? Uh, does, let's say. No. Inflicts one damage. Just inflicts, not Okay, then yeah, then I'll do the warrior. Okay. I was thinking you were defending, but. No. That's one damage. And then I get Two losing. stamina back. Okay. So I'll take one damage. And I think that's my whole turn. Okay. That is for this particular dungeon, because the next thing I'm going to say is I'm going to say it opens the hallway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have us roll for the warrior to start off with. Warrior's going to roll. Oh, wait a second. Yes, go ahead. Hit me. When you killed the mimic, you were supposed to do something. I was supposed to do something. Where does the card say? Um, You're supposed to take a curse or something? Read the back. I'm supposed to say something. I'm supposed to take a shadows card. Where did I And then him? say something. Where did I put him? I, mean, I believe it opens the chest. The Here monk opens the chest. Your adventurer searches the chest. The chest, the chest turns out to be a mimic that bites the Good adventurer's call. arm, inflicting a yellow... The monk searches the chest. Ew. Among a pile of sweaty clothes, you find two gold coins. Hmm. With one... With one heroic beverage. Nice. Heroic beverage. Okay. Adds another combat dice doing this phase. Nice. All right. So in the meantime, we're going to say we're going to have our warrior move. He rolled a five. He's going to go ahead and move one, two. And the warrior opens the hallway. Upon opening the door, you find a cold, damp room. The atmosphere is heavy and suffocating. All right. So we're going to go there ahead. There is no time for rest. I'm going to cast a healing spell on you. Lissandra grants each adventurer one health point, one stamina point, and one mana point. One health, one stamina, and one mana. Oh, you got the stamina? Okay. No, I got the... I need the stamina. You need just one, though? Yep. For, for each. Oh. Which I thought you just put one no. on there. No, no. I didn't. But here you go. Now you have three stamina. I thought you just put one on there. No? Nope. Nope. I grabbed the health. Mm. Okay. So, uh, we got that. No time for rest. Going to cast a spell. We need to go ahead and put new things down on this board over here. This is going to go like so. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and have another door uh, on, or something. We grab a token over here. Let's grab a rubble of some sort. Give me a second to grab this over here. Could here you go. use that door? Here or is go. it definitely not a door? Uh, this is now an open door, so we can replace that with an open door. 
This is going to go across from it directly. Some sort of rubble in some way. It looks like it's blocked. And then we have a closed door over here. Okay. Okay. And so that's going to have an interaction point on it, which means in some way we can go ahead and say your adventurer opens the red door. Okay. So I still have more movement though. So I have a uh, five movement. I only move two. So three, four, five, six. And I still have one movement after that. The warrior opens the red door. Upon crossing the threshold, the door slams shut behind you, sealing itself. Suddenly, a low rumble shakes the foundations, and the corridor you came through collapses in a deafening crash. Remove the corridor tile behind the door. If an adventurer is on that tile, place them on the adjacent corridor. The stone wall of the corridor collapses, revealing a secret passage. You find yourself in a dark room, full of bones seemingly animated by supernatural forces. Outside the room, in the remains of the hallway, Monsters are drawn by the noise. Place a ghoul and a slime on the board. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to do the following. I sense Tenrita drawing near. We must find the passage leading to the Shadow Grimoire at any cost. Lissandra casts a spell on the monster with the highest attack. It takes one black die of unstoppable damage. Okay. So, we're going to deal with that in a second. Let's go ahead and open this up first. We're going to go ahead and put the new things out, which means... We have a new room tile over here. We're going to have a new interaction point door, which we'll deal with in a second. This door slams shut behind us, it looks like. So we're now in here. Oh, we removed this tile from the board. That tile's gone. Oh, So you have to get back out the other way? Yeah. This tile goes over here. We, in some way, removed this... Whoa, one second. Okay. So you have to put the monsters over here. Put the ghoul over here. I think you have them. Oh, wait, I'll grab them a second. Which, yeah. Show me the cards, show me the cards. The ghoul and the slime. We have the slime and the ghoul. So the ghoul's going to go over here. The slime is, this is the uh, ghoul. The ghoul is going to be over here. And we have a slime, which is going to be this guy over here, I guess. And that's going to be over here. And then one second. So we have to go through a bunch of things here. We have to put down a new a cabinet. It's going to go, a piece of furniture is going to go over here. We have a barrel. Which is going to go, barrel's going to go over here. We have an interaction point four over here, and we have an interaction point five for the door behind us. Okay, that's going to be a interaction point five. So we can examine the wall over here, which I'm guessing is the, I'm guessing this is a cabinet that is uh, willing to open to the other room, because I still have my character mm -hmm. back here. And so we're going to do that, that. I feel like there's one thing missing. Yeah. Oh, my adventure goes over here. Um. Okay. And one of these is supposed to take a black die of damage? Yes, the one with the highest attack. How do you know? Is it the most dice Um, Ooh, that's a good question. I would argue the slime does because it has more. Yeah, go ahead. One point of damage. It's does unstoppable. Does that just kill it? Oh. Yeah, it does seem like it does. They're both one health. That's I know. really weird. It takes one black. It's, so you'd have to have not rolled an attack. Can it I does feel a bit. Re roll these? Can we roll the die against it? I don't think With we roll good die. Fortune? Yeah, good fortune. We said it works only your own dice, I believe. But was I the one rolling it? Is that? That's the question. Mm, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I acknowledge it. It might just die. Let's just here to help me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Weird. The remains of the hallway monster drama. They always place a ghoul and a slime on the board. Yeah, that's, and it is. I agree with you. It is interesting. But if you don't have anything, I mean, if you have anything, you roll against it. That I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do we know it? Oh, because of the thing. Yeah. So that the slime is going to die right away, unfortunately. Yeah. That was uh, weird. anticlimactic. Yeah. And so then we go ahead and have the uh, the monk going ahead and go. The Wait, let's see what our options are. We can open the door in front of us, I believe. Let me take a look. Let's see. Waiting for this to load over here. No, it's not loading there. One second. We can go ahead. Adventure examines the wall. Adventure opens the cursed sanctuary. I feel like I want to wait for my characters to catch up. Because mm. I don't feel confident. Which means our monk's going to go ahead and go. So our monk's going to roll now. And rolls a two. So one, two. So he can move diagonally. One, two, three, uh, four. I have a five, six if I want to use it. Which I think the five and six we will try to use over here. Um, let's go ahead and go five, six over here. So I can hit you. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and hit you with a one, two, and three. And we're going to go ahead and roll against you. I'm supposed to have that extra yellow die. Against Are there any two. shields on the yellow die? 
Um, the yellow die does not have any shields. It's only attack, but you still might roll stamina, so it's worth rolling. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and roll, but I'm supposed to have two extra blue dice. Or oh, this is the way around. No, two yellow. Two yellow. Because yep. we both rolled skulls. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's what I was. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and roll, <coughs> which means we go ahead and roll. That is a violent attack. Yeah. I got two stamina. The upside for you is that stamina is going to you. Once I fill the card, out, at least. It's the darkness cards. Okay. To you. So, can I even do it, or is it, or can I just hope to lightning you back really hard? Lightning me back seems to be the way to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm rolling four defense dice. How much are you doing? Six. Uh, six damage right now. Oh, so, yeah. All right. I might as well spend it. So, I will do this to add okay. a die. Oh, plus the yellow. I get a yellow. Mm -hmm. Yep. So maybe I can do it. And then he gets three black. Okay. Okay. So, that's nothing. I have plenty of stuff, though, so I can all re-roll all of it. Okay. With bad luck. Good luck. Good luck. Still bad. But two damage is enough to potentially kill me. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. Um... And I will also pay one okay. to add one to my lightning damage. Okay, so you're rolling against me? Hmm? You're rolling against me? I did. Okay, so I have to roll two black dice in defense. That's I'm doing three lightning, three lightning damage. damage. So I roll three black dice in defense. And I got no defense, but I get one stamina, which ironically goes to you. So you're going to get three stamina back. Would I? Should I still have gotten the two stamina from... From rolling, uh, no, because that's for using using an attack. You either gain the stamina or you're using it. In your case, you're okay, using it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lie down, and the monk makes a resurrection pact. Okay. Venturer, you resurrect with all your health points, but receive three shadows cards. Mm -hmm. You can perform your actions. The master of shadows gain a black die on their attack roll until the end of the quest. All right, so, so you're supposed to get a black die, but that also means earlier you're supposed to get a black die. Aww. So you're supposed to have a two black dice, which means now. A minor asterisk on uh, my successes until now. But that also answers my question as to why it matters to die again, because you keep punching yeah. harder each time. All right, well, I'm going to roll one for that goal just to see if I get a stamina from okay. him dying. Like, one more stamina. Sure. Nope. Yeah, okay. Um. So then he also dies, if you want to yes. take him off the board. He's going to go away. I'm going to go ahead and gain experience for him. That's going to be, uh, the ghoul is how much experience? Mm, I don't know. Right, it's all good. Four. We got a four. Perfect. Four. Boxer Town. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, I believe that's in the round. I'm taking my turns. I've done my actions, which means now it's time for your turn or the round turn. Turn six starts. Shadow magic runs through the dungeon. If the adventurers are injured, their wounds become infected. They roll a yellow die. Each skull they get causes them to lose a health point. The master of shadows earns two stamina points. Mm. The bones on the ground quiver, then assemble around the skeleton, which, in a whirlwind of dark energy, transforms into a terrifying bone golem. Place the miniature on the board. Bone golem! Okay. So, that's not what I wanted to happen. I believe you're getting this guy over here. Still only has one health. I mean, yeah, but look at his defense. So they didn't oh. take that buff away, so I think we do have that. You should still have to have two, what's called, two dice. Oh, you're just like yellow. Gotcha. That's fair. That that's fair. Okay. Which means my shuttle tried to make it better, but that's fine. Okay. So right about now, we still have that that door I'm trying to open into. Did, did it tell you where he goes? Uh, it does not say where he goes. So I placed him on the board. I guess it says, it says what's it called? That bones of the ground quiver and assemble around around the skeleton. Where's the skeleton? Uh, the master shadows. Is there an actual skeleton place? Is it your skeleton? Because you died. Is mm. that what it means? Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do where I am. I, I don't know. I, I don't know either, but it says around the skeleton, and I don't believe there's another skeleton in place. So it's fine. All right, let's charge forward. Yeah, I was going to say, unless it was like my skeletons that died, but they were... No, no, sorry. Here's the skeleton. This is where the skeleton was. There was, an, there was a bunch of bones in this room. 
Oh, I see. So it wasn't like an actual yes. skeleton. So you find something in a dark room full of bones, seemingly animated by supernatural forces. So I basically had one round to get in there, which I didn't realize. Okay. Which means it is your turn. Okay. You know, I wonder if I was paying for things when they're free, because I forgot about that. But that's fine. I have, like, a ton of stamina now. Um, let's see what I would like to do. Because I got power. How about you? I got powers. Okay. You got them, too. Gonna roll so my I don't roll. I don't do get cards anymore. But now I do this. Mm -hmm. So I will attack you with what? A black die yeah. plus my two black dies yeah. plus three yellow plus an extra yellow. Yeah. Now keep in mind you get the attack die. You get the extra black die and only your attack rolls, not your defense. Mm -hmm. The extra two black dice you're okay. getting are only attack. Okay. Which um, is, might be where we have a problem. I will pay this for another black. Okay. And then I will probably have power. I mean, you're at full health, right? Uh, no, I'm at four health. Oh. I was wounded, my wounds blistered, and I lost two damage. Do I have to choose this before or after I roll? After? Uh, to your attack roll. That has to be before. That's adding to the roll, so okay. before the roll. Then sure, I'll do it. I mean, this is make or break it. This is where you might kill me. Right. So I'll pay two to okay. add one. Um, hmm. And I just want to make sure... Okay, wait, we, we have... Reconciliation. Once per turn, you may sacrifice, sacrifice an animated monster to strengthen the bone golem. You're all dead. Shadow Phoenix. When the bone golem dies, roll one blue die, and then I get to summon. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's attack, attack, attack. Yeah, no, attack, 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 attack. You gotta roll right now. Looks like you're doing five damage to my head. Um. But I think I can defend against that. So I'm gonna take a picture of this because you're supposed to. Yep, Go no. back to the other one. Well, it's five. I can do it right now. It's five. It's five one two. Whatever, five one two. Sure. You're doing a reroll. You're hoping for it to make sense. Yep. So it's five so one two. So I'll pay one for good fortune. Five one two. Five re -roll. one two. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping I go back to five one two because I don't think you're gonna get better than that. Five one two. Five one two. Five one two. You got one two three four five five, five three five, five three. three, which I guess is better. May as well keep that. Now, do you think I can do this more than once? No. No. You no, can no it's only, only once add per one. once per instance. All right. Well, I like this better. So it's five and three. Okay, so I'm going to be rolling. Uh, you can go ahead and take your three. Oh, plus this one. Because that just adds. Oh, oh, so it's six six and three. Yeah. Well, I don't like that at all. And I'll take the three because I'm definitely getting that. I'm going to go ahead and spend a stamina then and get an extra black die in the mix because I think I'm going to need that. Six and three, so I'm going to roll six black dice over here. Six black dice, and I need you to block six? You're doing six? I need to block at least two. No, two, I'm still going to die. I need to block three. You're supposed to have a yellow die from the thing that they... No, no two? That's, is that for attack rolls only or for everything? I don't know. Let's find out where it was. I think it said you just get them. I can scroll back and find out. And it was the attack rolls only. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So six over here. Uh, if I don't roll three shields, I'm dead. I think that means I'm dead. I don't think I can do anything. I don't think I can do anything. Can I do anything? Change the result of an attack of a die on a melee attack roll. You may use the same offensive skill twice for the same roll tough i can hmm no i think i'm dead i can do group attack i can do backstab adrenaline these won't help i use adrenaline potentially good fortune could have been good better fortune, but you don't have any but I don't stamina. stamina i believe right about now you're gonna say i was gonna say that dice thing kind of evens out me not having the extra black one because yeah. i think that i may have used this during that one defense roll of the ghoul but you killed the ghoul anyway so, so you need to say the master of shadows has corrupted the adventurers the Master of Shadows has corrupted the adventure? Overwhelmed by an impenetrable rage, the adventurers are as if possessed, driven solely by their need for vengeance against Tunrida. The world around them becomes blurry, every obstacle and enemy obliterated in their wake. This devastating hatred carries them, motivates them, and makes them almost invincible. It is then that Lysandra acts. She dispels the shadow that has engulfed them, bringing them back to themselves. Each person returns to reality, dizzy and nauseous, horrified by what they have done under the influence of this dark rage. The specter guarding the grimoire of shadows lies dead beside them. They realize that Lysandra could have stopped them sooner but did not. The guardian of the grimoire is defeated. The grimoire is there. Lysandra's gaze is solemn, but determined. Without a word, she conveys the message, 
there was no other choice, no other path to victory. But within them, something has changed, something irreversible. A dark mark on their souls that will never fade. Jeez. End quest. And with that, wait, we might not be done here. Do you feel a dark mark on your soul now? That goes on for a bit. Oh, it's our closing crowds. I do like it. Alright, and that is it. That is basically where we end up with. So, adventurers, all adventurers have made a resurrection pact. Kill the monk. Uh, make all adventurers lose at least one HP. So those are the uh, quests that you have for the Master of Shadows. Nice. Uh, the resurrection pact's made. The monk made two, and the warrior, well, the warrior made none, but it's an automatic count as one. You have to, you mm -hmm. have to do it. Continue. The Master of Shadows has won the game. Master of Shadows, no total experience points. So at this point, you'd go through the end game sequence where you'd gather the various experience, you'd mark your things. Both characters, both sides do move forward, gaining more skill cards where appropriate, uh, keeping potential items between scenarios and whatnot. But that is effectively a rune, or more specifically, a rune with the Light and Darkness expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, that has been a gameplay of a rune. Yeah. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I'm Professor Meg. And have a good one. Long live the shadows.